All right, guys, welcome back to Big Rick Fix. And today we're going to be talking about this meter you've seen right here in the first picture. And I'm going to try to explain it the best. And so how to measure ohms with a digital uh, multimeter trucks on trucks and cars. It turns out, um, as you can see, right where that horseshoe is, that is, if you can see in the arrow, I'll point it right there is ohms. And you can see there's different numbers. You got 200, 2K, 200K, and 2M. So the first one is 200 ohms, 2,000 kiloohms, 200,000 kiloohms, 20 million ohms. So if you're going to, when you do a lot of troubleshooting, it will tell you what setting you need to put it in, especially if you're measuring, taking something out of a truck, you know, motors, uh, sensors, uh, could be uh, relays, solenoids. It will tell you to what setting you need to put it. It'll say 2,000 kilohms or 2 ohms or what spec you should be. So you should know where to put the meter in. Um, so a lot of, most of the time you got to disconnect the batteries when you are doing ohms readings. Um, basically, you're checking the flow of current um, and if seeing if there's a restriction in that wire. Um, and so you would basically, sometimes you would take from one end of a plug to another and you take the one end of your wire to the other side of the wire, um, the, the red and the black. And in that meter, there is a nine volt battery usually. And it's just taking that nine volt battery and taking it when you put each end on each side of the plug or a part they tell you to, to look at. And you put this the right setting of the on in the ohms what you're looking for and it will send that nine volt battery current through that circuit and it's going to see if there's a restriction in that circuit so whatever leads the um the meter it will re return back and if there's a restriction in that nine volt reading it will tell you what kind of resistance you are what you have and if it's in spec um, if you want to clip it, if a better way to explain it would be plumbing. Um, it's basically if there's a restriction in your pipes. And so if you have flow water and if half the pipe is, is plugged or three quarter of it's plugged, it's going to tell you, um, if there's a bad connection or restriction in the, in the wiring, what will to mess up the readings, what, especially nowadays with computers, um, resistance is uh, very um, touchy it can be very touchy with wiring so this is what that meter does so it, i'm going to show you a little bit it's kind of it's not the best but it's kind of just a quick how to use it with i'm going to use it on um, these are glow plugs out of a, uh, a diesel engine and we're going to show you the meter and i'm going to show you right now as you can see i'm just testing these wires to make sure they're good there's no short in the main wiring um, you can see here, um, take test these glow plugs and you can see the specs approximate 0 0.9 ohms. So, so basically, uh, basically the ohm in, in between that. So basically I want to show you, uh, I have it set at 2000 kilo ohms and that's a new brand new, um, uh, meter, um, um glow plug. See so it was at eight. So it was in spec and uh, this one. Uh, is way out of spec. So it was like, uh, it's like 560 ohms, 530 ohms. It's way out of spec. So that was totally bad. And this glow plug there is totally shorted out. It's, uh, doesn't even have connection anymore. Um, it's kind of hard for me to do it with one hand but to show you guys, but yeah, so that's kind of how it works. It just, um, it's just showing you if there's a restriction and there's a bad connection basically re resistance and um you can see there's nothing in that one that was a broke basically that'd be like a broken wire um or corrosion all right guys um uh, thanks for watching i hope this helped out a little bit sometimes i'm a little all over the place but um thanks again for watching and hopefully you have a good year and thanks for watching bye guys bye